what time it is. I get the money in the right on you. It's Lamborghini time. Let's go. Hold a couple bags, tell them I love you. You want to be a... Ugh, if I can get this bad boy started. <laughs> it turns out that back in PPP's heyday, not everyone thought it was going to end very well. Well, guess what, Uncle Scam? Uncle Sam wants you. And by wants you, I mean wants your ass in prison. So we decided to take the Lambo for a ride and meet up with Jeffrey Danik, a retired FBI agent. We call this probable cause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, no, can you run me? Can you see if they have a file? Danik spent decades working on fraud cases in the FBI's Miami field office. Why is there so much fraud in South Florida, in your opinion? It is the epicenter of fraud, every type of fraud you can think of. Down here, the, the, big, uh, the big fraud is medical fraud. Medicare is like an ATM. If you put the right code in, it spits out money. So you need that ATM code. COVID fraud was completely different. It was an ATM machine with, that was always full with no code needed. It's not rocket science for these PPP loans. Yeah, as an FBI agent, I mean, is that a high priority? You know, a guy that spends a million dollars frauding the government, defrauding the government on a PPP loan? Or are you even gonna spend any resources on a guy that, you know, defrauded the government for 10K or 15K? There's a tidal wave coming. Th these cases should all be layups, especially the next big wave. Uh, they should all be easy. The Fed started with sensational cases that created big headlines, like 29-year-old David Hines of Miami, who obtained 3.9 million in PPP money and blew some of it on a Lamborghini. Then there's a case of 39-year-old Andre Lorquette, also of Miami, who's serving time for taking 4.4 million in a fraudulent PPP scheme. He was a one-man stimulus program spending the money on a Lamborghini, a Porsche, two Teslas, a diamond watch, custom jewelry, gold chains, and 70 carats of diamonds. All right, Jeff, we're heading to the Hard Rock Guitar Hotel. Another big spender was former NFL wide receiver Joshua Bellamy, who received $1.2 million in a fraudulent PPP scheme. According to his indictment, he bought jewelry and spent $60,000 on a stay at Fort Lauderdale's Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. If you were a PVP fraudster, would you have spent $60,000 at a casino? Well, the lower under the radar you are, the less likely you're going to be caught. 